Whoa, did I just hear you say that you haven't yet automated parts of your job using AI? Theoretically, the whole reason AI exists in the first place is so that you can relax and enjoy the fruits of the AI doing your labor. And that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. I'm going to see if I can come up with a very generic ChatGPT interaction prompt guide that will find ways to automate just about any type of job except for probably manual labor. So it should be a super interesting video and there's only two things that you have to do before we get into the nitty gritty detail. Number one is smash the like and subscribe buttons. I love that support. And number two is you have to promise me, and I'm serious, you have to promise me that you're not gonna tell anybody when we find ways to automate your job. If you go telling people that you're not working, they're gonna find work for you to do. So this is our little secret to this video. You're just gonna chill out Max and relax while the AI does your work and everyone else will think that you are hyper productive. But with that all said, let's dive into the video. Now the challenge with finding a way to automate parts of just about any job and creating a very generic prompt structure, I think is actually going to be to utilize ChatGPT itself to figure out ways that it can automate the job and then we can go and basically develop prompts to specifically automate those exact tasks. And so we can summarize the process that I'm going to use in four, three primary steps in one sub step. The first step is going to be, you know, we tell ChatGPT the specificities of our job and get it to come up with tasks that it feels it can independently automate. The second step, well, this is kind of like a half step, is we tell it basically to recommend only a few of them, only the ones it feels it does best, because I've found that it can be a bit over eager in terms of estimating its capabilities. The second main step is then to get the AI to create a very specific action plan that details exactly how it can go and fully complete this task. Now, the reason we have this step is because AIs are not very deterministic. And what this means is that one time you might get a particular answer that's brilliant. And the lack of determinism means that it's very hard for the AI to regenerate that same type of answer. That means that some results are absolutely brilliant and some are complete mud. However, we can reduce the amount of times we get bad responses by getting the AI to come up with a formula for effectively completing that task. And then as long as it remembers this formula, it means that you're going to get a more consistent automation of that task every single time. Finally, step number three is to get the AI to then develop a prompt template that we can go and use in future to have the AI go and automate that task. We give it any of the necessary details that it needs. And the prompt template also alludes to the structure or formula that the AI should use to complete that task. So it should be the ultimate prompt engineering guide to automate your job. Now to go ahead and actually implement this, I have created the actual prompts that we will use to hopefully yield good results time and time again. This will be linked in the description down below. Test it out for your job, see if it works. I'd love to hear if it does, leave a comment in the description down below. And I hope you enjoy getting to relax a bit more in your day-to-day -day work life. Now, if we go ahead and actually test this out, I can just go ahead and copy this first prompt, paste it directly into ChatGPT, where this one is going to basically get the GPT or the large language model to suggest automation of tasks. I'm going to pretend I'm a math teacher. So here I'm just going to say, I am a maths teacher for 13 to 18 year olds. Now, depending on your job and how unique it is or niche, the more information you give the large language model, the better chance it's going to have at suggesting different roles. But let's see how this works. So here we can see it's coming up with some suggestions of tasks that could be automated, generating practice problems, step-by-step -step solutions, interactive quizzes, graph plotting. Here's an example of where it potentially overestimates because I know for a fact that the large language model GPT-3 cannot generate visualizations. And ultimately there's about 10 tasks here. That's a lot. I just want to automate the primary ones or the main ones it feels it can do. So I'm going to copy in that second prompt it's going to select the task that it feels it can complete most uh, effectively and independently. Still pretty optimistic, but that's absolutely fine. So that's step 1.5. Step two is to get it to craft an action plan. So given the task you felt you were able to complete independently, can you please create an action plan detailing the means and methods by which you will complete the task in its entirety? So this should help create the structure, the repeatable structure that the GPT model can use to 
basically repeat these tasks time and time again. It's also important because it specifies the information that it needs, and this is going to be critical for creating our prompt templates. So that's all done. And now last but not least, we can copy the final one, hopefully get these reusable prompt templates that we can just basically throw to ChatGPT whenever we want it to generate or automate these tasks and we can just hands off, leave it to go. So if we take a look at the first one for generating the practice problems, it's, you know, here's the prompt template. The square brackets represent the placeholders. So it says, please generate X number of problems on a topic at this difficulty level. Ensure each problem adheres to the specific constraints such as then input the specific conditions. So here's an example. We could go ahead and test it out. Uh, please generate 10 algebra problems. Uh, let's see if that works. So it looked like that actually worked really successfully. Now, once again, I'm using the model 3.5, GPT 3.5. With the successor models such as GPT 4 at this age, you will get better results, yield better results essentially. So if you're finding that GPT 3.5 is unable to effectively automate the task, it could be worth trying a more sophisticated model. Now, previously I went ahead and tested this prompt guide with a bunch of different industries. On the whole, I'd say it's pretty reasonable in terms of coming up with tasks that it can automate. But once again, you might have to provide some further specification or detail or even information. It's not perfect every single time. But on the whole, especially as these large language models become more sophisticated, I think that this prompt will only essentially yield better and better results as time goes on. Anyway, as I said before, this prompt guide is linked in the description down below. Try it out, see what tasks in your job you can automate, and let me know in the comments down below how it works. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like and subscribe buttons. Love that support. Learning to code? If so, be sure to check out the Learn to Code roadmap or dive straight in with these videos. That's a good one.